Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Carly Barnett. Here's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. Residents are forced out of their homes after a Cutler Bay apartment complex goes up in flames. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue arrived last night to find heavy smoke and flames coming from the roof of Le Club Apartments on 86th Avenue and 212th Street. More than 20 units were burned. All of the residents managed to get out safely. No official word yet on what sparked the fire. Miami police need your help finding an endangered missing man. 75-year-old Ted Sutherland was reported missing yesterday from Northwest 49th Street and 1st Avenue. He was last seen wearing a dark polo shirt, dark pants, and dark colored casual shoes. He is driving a red Dodge Nitro. If you see him and know where he is, you're asked to call Miami Police at 305-6300. Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony has fired the deputy involved in the viral rough arrest of DeLuca Roll. Sheriff Tony says he fired Deputy Christopher Krikovich because he used excessive force. The decision goes against a decision to clear him by an oversight panel which reviews internal affairs cases. The deputy's union says they will fight to reinstate the deputy. The House Judiciary Committee is expected to resume debate today over the two articles of impeachment against President Trump. This comes after clashing for more than three hours last night. The panel members can propose amendments, but with Democrats controlling the committee, the articles of use of power and obstruction of Congress are all but certain to be approved. That sets the stage for a full House vote next week. And that's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.